I don't know about you, but ever since I saw the first trailer for the new Zelda game and heard it was for a new system, I started saving every penny I had. I mean, call it chronic optimism, the Wii U may have been a little less than perfect, but as someone who grew up on Nintendo systems, it's hard to look down on the big end. With more details about the Switch coming to light, it feels like that optimism might be justified. There's no way to know right now if the Switch will bring Nintendo back into the good graces of hardcore gamers, but there's some neat coming up for the console, and we're gonna celebrate them. Hi guys, I'm Stephanie with Arcade Cloud, and today we're bringing you the nine coolest things about the Switch. Number nine, it's a hybrid system. If you don't have the cash to drop on both a home console and a portable one, Nintendo has as much sympathy for you as a gigantic money-grabbing video game conglomerate could possibly have. The Switch can act just as we expect, a game console to plug into the TV, sit on your couch, open up the chips, and fire away, but then you can pop it out of the dock and take it on the go, like a PSP, DS, or Vita if you can find a Vita in the wild, they're somewhat of an endangered species. And heck, even if you don't ever plan to take your precious Switch outside the confines of your house, you can still get used here. If everybody else wants to use the television, you can pop the Switch out of its dock and continue to play without ever needing the TV. In other words, the Nintendo Switch is the ultimate enabler enabler for your gaming addiction, and your family will be elated, I'm sure. Number 8. It's Idiot Proof For a concept that seems as high-tech and miraculous as taking the game you were just playing on your TV onto the packed subway with you without even having to turn off the system, the functionality of the Switch seems simple. I mean, to take Link with you everywhere you go, all you have to do is just take the handheld Switch controller out of the dock. That's it. Your game's just there. And to put it back on the TV, you just plug it in again. You know, assuming your battery life holds out and all. This is massive speculation on our part, but what if this could somehow be integrated into a game? Like, what kind of shenanigans could this open up in a WarioWare-style game? Or some kind of challenge involving multiple Switches? I mean, I don't know. We don't think that will happen, but if it did, it would be pretty rad. I mean, why not? Number 7. Portable Multiplayer Honestly, this might be the feature of the Switch I'm most excited about. One of the huge downsides of the DS and all portable gaming systems is that in order to play with your friends, they not only also have to have the DS, but they need to have their own copy of the game as well. Now, some games had a download play feature, but that's not enough to even make it relevant. This makes portable multiplayer difficult to pull off. You've got to coordinate it rather than just letting it happen off the cuff. When I got Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS, this was a huge disappointment. If you live somewhere densely populated like Japan, yeah, you might be able to get away with some impromptu sessions, but for those of us that are not living in portable game paradise, the Switch is our best bet. You can give half your controller to somebody else and now you're playing together. And the screen is included, which is a big deal! Even if it's not the biggest screen with the highest resolution, in a world where split-screen multiplayer is dying thanks to online play, it's awesome to have a system that's not only split-screen, but also split-controller. Number 6. Controller Flexibility The Nintendo Wii launched with the Wii Remote, which did a great job introducing people who didn't play a lot of games to a console that could be understood without prior knowledge of controllers. It worked pretty well, but it alienated fans of typical controllers, like those for the GameCube or N64. Okay, the N64 controller was anything but regular or even comfortable, but still you could go ahead and purchase a Pro Controller too, for an extra cost. Now, the Wii U gamepad was a step closer to normal. The screen in the middle still made it awkward. Nintendo seems to understand this because while the new Joy-Cons, I know, awkward name, but still, are a huge selling point for the Switch, they have a great deal of flexibility. They can be slotted together into a single controller setup, put on sides of a screen like the Wii U, or used as two distinct controllers. And if that still isn't enough flexibility, you can purchase a proper gamepad as well, featuring a fancy translucent case. It's nice to know that you have options available if you were introduced to gaming through the Wii U or a crusty old gamer like me who just wants a normal controller. Number 5. HD Rumble the Joy-Cons, beyond their flexibility, have some really neat features packed in. They say the rumble in these controllers are so sensitive that you can tell the difference between holding an empty glass with one ice cube or three, and whether or not the glass has water in it. While I can't remember a time when I needed to know how fast an imaginary beverage would cool, I could see this being used in cool ways. I mean, if the rumble can pull this off. For example, when playing Mario Kart, will we be able to tell whether we're driving on dirt versus grass versus pavement? I mean, could you tell the difference between firing a pistol and a shotgun? It seems far-fetched to me, but feel free to prove me wrong, Nintendo. Come on, go on, I dare you. It's kind of crazy to hear about the HD Rumble here on Nintendo, which hasn't shown any interest in VR, but if it can shine here and the tech works, I'm excited to see where it could go in the future. 
Number 4. Crazy Sensors Another potentially draw-dropping feature of the new controller, in addition to the motion sensor technology we all know and pretty much love, Joy-Cons contain the ability to sense shapes, fulfilling everyone's lifelong dream to play a physical game of rock, paper, scissors with a computer. Jokes aside, this could be a fun feature in some games. I mean, imagine a wizard duel where you have to make signs with your hands to cast a spell, and you look at your opponent's hands to figure out what they're about to cast, and BOOM! You counter it! That one's free, Nintendo. You're welcome. Furthermore, these controllers can also sense depth, meaning that in a slew of upcoming one-player games, these two little guys will be used in relation to one another. A whole new world of gaming opportunities just appeared out of nowhere. Again, where is the WarioWare Nintendo? Number 3. Screenless Games These hyper-detailed sensors and rumbles open up another fascinating possibility. Screenless video games, or as they're sometimes called, games? For the majority of the games on 1-2 Switch, the Switch's answer to Wii Sports, your primary focus is on the person you're playing against, not the screen. Everything you need to know is communicated through the controller and a few audio cues. Thanks to this, you can get around the claim that gaming is bad for your eyes. Nice try, Mom. But now, I can game without looking at a screen and while getting fresh air. Your move. And while we're on the subject of 1-2 Switch, there's a minigame where you milk a cow. Finally, Nintendo, you were founded in 1889 and we've been waiting 128 years to compete against our friends in milking a digital cow's digital udder. And no, I don't care if you started as a card company or that video games didn't exist. I just want results. Number 2. It continues to prove that Bowser is indeed the best. If you've ever played a Paper Mario game, and if you haven't, then you better pick up Thousand Year Door right now. You already know that Bowser is one of the best creations Nintendo designed to give us, but it bears repeating. Sure, he kidnaps princesses and tries to conquer the world, but he owns that part of himself and he makes it work. And he's also able to be pleasant and play tennis and ride go-karts. And with the introduction of Mario Odyssey, we can also confirm that he has the greatest sense of style on this side of the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, Look at him. That crisp top hat, that spotless white jacket with purple trim, those handsome silvery shoe thingies. And it's not the first time he's demonstrated impeccable taste in fashion. When the new Nintendo 3DS launched in Japan, he had an ad celebrating all the custom faceplates you could buy. And in that ad, you can see Bowser rocking a button-down shirt and hipster glasses. And alongside the Switch, we learned about its parental controls app, where we get to see Bowser in his role as a parent. And it turns out, he's one of the most loving, adorable parents too. I mean, I don't want to stomp on Peach's free will here or anything, but what does Mario have that Bowser doesn't? I'm just saying. Number 1. Breath of the Wild Okay, okay, you discovered my weakness. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the first glimpses of footage from the newest Zelda game were what got me excited about the Switch in the first place. Granted, I'd be even more excited if the rumors about the option for a female Link turned out to be true, but this Link at least looks pretty feminine. I mean, if you squint, you wouldn't even know the difference. Anyways, the graphics look downright stunning, and the game just oozes epicness. I mean, it's Nintendo's most ambitious open-world map to date, and one reporter even called it Nintendo's Skyrim. Plus, it's unlike any other Legend of Zelda game to date. Link doesn't find hearts, he cooks meat and eats apples. And you better consider your fashion choices because if you want to climb those epic mountains, a t-shirt and shorts will make Link very sad indeed. And dead. I know eating and clothing yourself isn't fun in real life, but it's somehow way more fun when you're also able to swing your sword at some baddies or shoot arrows or swing an axe or backflip onto a shield and use it as a snowboard. So, that's it. The top 9 things about the Nintendo Switch that we think are the coolest. Are you optimistic about Nintendo's newest system or do you have some reservations? What features are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. And make sure to check out some of our Kid Cloud's other videos. Thanks for watching.